Uh, my initial studies um, were focused on this subset of uh, T cells, CD4 T cells, which are part of our immune system and they're targeted by HIV, which are called quiescent T cells. And these have been known to be resistant to HIV infection. So that was my interest all along, as long as I've been working here at UCLA, uh, looking at why they are resistant to the virus. And later on, I started becoming more interested in what needs to make these cells less resistant. That way we can develop ways that we can target infection and um, prevent them from getting infected, so exploit the fact that they're resistant. And as I was exploring other avenues, I discussed this with uh, Dr. Gail Baldwin. She was a professor at UCLA. And we thought of starting a project looking at how uh, cocaine influences these cells and how its expo their exposure to this drug actually brings down the, um, the resistance and makes them more susceptible. And this is very important because they are the major population of cells in our blood that can be targeted by the virus. So this is how it all started. The surprise was that the effect was so subtle compared to the, cha to the changes in susceptibility to infection. Um, typically, we see some change in these uh, quiescent um, CD4 T cells that will indicate that they're ready to be infected. Um, however, with, the, with cocaine, uh, exposing them didn't really seem to change a lot of things, uh, just minor uh, perturbations into the cells. So that was the surprising aspect in, in this research. It's very important because um, substance abuse is one of the main, um, still one of the main um, avenues of um, getting infected by HIV. And it's important because um, so far people have associated drug use with risky behavior. And our studies um, have shown that it's not just risky behavior. Um, it is also the changes that happens in our bodies as a result of cocaine that can further potentiate the, effect, the effects of a risky behavior. Um, and with these studies, at least it sets a, a foundation where in the future we can pursue other questions of how cocaine influences our body's defenses, um, um, how cocaine influences how the virus not only replicates, but how it becomes more resistant. And if there are any other ways where we can target and treat these sensitive populations, for example, pre-exposure prophylaxis to antiretroviral drugs or what we do next afterwards. So. Um, this has major, major uh, avenues that we can actually pursue in the future.